Hi! So you've survived your first week and want to spice things up for the Chopper event. You've come to the right place. I'll teach you how I deal with that annoying helicopter. I need to assume first that you've got your combat basics down before proceeding. Otherwise, the video would be too long. If you have little to no knowledge about combat, or if you don't know whether your character is even good for combat or not, I suggest checking out my YouTube shorts first. Before you prepare your supplies, you need to determine your maximum collateral damage. If you have a lot of places you want to loot nearby, then fighting the incoming horde on a remote location is your best bet. If you don't mind losing a few buildings, then fighting in town is better. I usually prefer this because it helps me clear the town a lot faster in exchange for a few destroyed buildings. Moving on to the things we need. If you've done your homework the past week, chances are you have the supplies stockpiled already. Even on rare settings, it would be quite normal to at least have 5 boxes of shotgun shells, 5 sidearm ammo boxes, beta blockers, and a couple of molotovs. You can craft these by combining bourbon with ripped sheets. If you found pipe bombs, then that's even better. Pack all of these along with one melee weapon of your choice, and you can now start driving around town while waiting for the chopper, or just come out of your base once you hear it. As soon as it sees you, it will follow you for quite a while. So roam around town to get as much zombies to follow you as possible and then go to the area you chose to fight the horde. Make sure to park the car a bit further and just run back to fight the horde. Bring out your shotgun, drink some beta blockers, and start circling around. Try to get some shots in to get a little bit of XP, but don't use up more than a box worth of ammo. Immediately throw the molotov and circle around again. We have to wait for the horde to be flaming for a while so that we can make sure that we don't run out of ammo while fighting it. Once you hear some of the zombies dying, that's the time you bring out the lead. Make sure to follow my example to shoot and jog. Just stay alert 
watch your moodles and pause if you need a break. As soon as you run out of ammo, run back to your car and get out of the area. Unless there are 10 to 20 zombies left, you can clear them with your melee weapon upon your discretion. If the chopper is still around, you may shack up in any of the isolated houses outside your town. The event only happens once by default and after this you're pretty much set until you run out of food, have an accident, or have a moment of carelessness and get infected. The vanilla game doesn't have much to offer because the chopper event is pretty much the pseudo ending so adding mods to spice up your endgame content could be one of the things you might want to do in your future playthroughs. If you learned a thing or two, please do subscribe. We just passed the 50 subscriber mark and is nearing the first 100 subscriber milestone. I have a lot of content planned in the future, especially themed runs that will tell a lot of stories. Have a nice day and squishy out.